Good afternoon, everyone. It's so great to see all of you here today at our first alumni leadership conference. I am so sorry that I'm not able to be there with all of you today, but I know you are going to leave with some incredible takeaways from my good friend, Larry Face. Uh, leadership is such an important thing. And even as long as I've been doing leadership, um, there's always room to, to learn and grow. And I really hope that today, that uh, the time you've invested to come to today's conference, that you're going to leave with some real tangible and relevant information that you can take back and on Monday morning can implement and continue to build your leadership skills on, on your journey and on your path. But thank you for coming today. Thank you, Heather. All right, let's go with the first question. What do you consider your leadership style to be and why have you chosen it? I, it's hard to put my leadership style in a box, but I would say what I do try to wake up and do every day is to lead with a servant's heart. And what that means is really doing my best to serve others. Uh, you know, sometimes the, the leader of the company or the boss kind of gets the bad rap for, uh, you know, being domineering and, and commanding things. And I really do feel like in today's uh, day and age that leadership more than ever, you have to be willing to serve all of the people that you work with. Um, it's important that you treat the custodian as well as you treat the, the vice president or the president of any company, uh, not just within your own company, but out in the community. What are specific steps you take or have taken to create a culture that supports a high level of employee engagement? I really think setting the expectation that as a leader that there isn't anything within the workplace that you're not willing to do. Um, some mornings that means picking up trash. Uh, some mornings that means uh, replacing the roll of toilet paper. It really, um, I think as a leader, that you're willing to do anything and everything that anyone else on your team um, might have to do. And I think when you set that example that others follow suit and they understand that it's not, you know, the big corner office and, uh, you know, kind of your traditional boss roles where, um, you know, everyone kind of bows and, and cow, cow tails to, to the boss. Uh, I think really getting in the trenches, uh, getting your hands dirty, rolling up your sleeves, and really doing whatever needs to be done to help and support the team. And what are two or three things you wish you would have known when you were a new leader, and what advice would you give to new leaders? I guess two things. One would be... Um, it matters what you do when no one else is looking. Um, there are so many times that there are things um, around the workplace, and really all of these leadership concepts go way beyond the workplace. They're so true in the community, even within your family, your marriage, um, being willing to do the right things when no one is looking. And a lot of times that means you're doing a lot of things that go completely unnoticed, you're not thanked for, uh, you're not recognized for. but. I wish someone would have maybe shared that uh, information with me when I was younger uh, because those things matter. And when I look back um, on the trajectory of my career, really when things started to happen was when I really did start focusing on um, doing the right things all the time, not just when I had an audience or a show. Uh, the second thing is, is that uh, just working hard and being passionate about what you do. Life is too short to come and show up in any job or any role that you're not engaged in, that you're not passionate about. Um, when you're able to find something that you can be excited about, that makes it so much easier to get up in the morning and to really work hard and really put your shoulder to the wheel. Uh, it doesn't seem like work um, when you're, you're you know, working to advance a, a cause or a mission that you believe in. Thank you so much. And any last words? Uh, just that I, you know, so wish I could be there with all of you today. I hope you have an amazing weekend and that you have some great takeaways from today's leadership conference. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon at the next Greater Sarasota Chamber of Commerce event. Thank you.